time spent on reconnaissance is seldom wasted. But reconnaissance or no, this section, Middle Crown, proved to be one of the real killers of the trial. Both Johnny Britton, Royal Enfield, and Jeff Smith, BSA, with clean cards to date, failed here. And in all, only 15 competitors survived the hazard of this steep and very tricky climb. Anyone interested in a new engine? Well, Jimmy Alves was looking thoughtful on a day which gained him but a second-class award. The upper subsection of the crown was, like Trelandon, rougher still. Here's where throttle control is of the essence. But the performance of some of the little two-strokes on this trial was once again amazing to behold. Well, even gumboots needed lots of tread here. Hermit's Lane was certainly no haven of peace and quiet. Quartered into subsections, it obliged the organisers by collecting approximately four times as many penalties and was a tricky proposition from the start. Nevertheless, it was apparently at least one man's idea of a suitable spot for relaxation. Jeff Duke evidently believes that a change is as good as a holiday. Well, we shall see. Number 52, J.D. Collin, 197cc Greens. I should think he probably does. Cowley does better with his Francis Barnett. But here's an unusual view of a world champion. However, Jeff made no mistake on the last subsection. Now, when it comes to three-wheeled work on this course, there's only one way to describe it, heroic lunacy. 